Hello YouTube, this is Mayun J and today guys the purpose of this video is to show you how to root and also how to fix the Play Store on the Goo Phone i5s. Uh, as I explained on the review video guys, um, this phone needs uh, the Play Store to be installed manually. So first things first guys, we have to root the device in order to get Root Explorer to work. So what we do is we go to settings. Then guys we scroll down to where it says iTunes Store and uh, an app store so you're gonna tap on there here we're gonna go to developers option and we're gonna enable USB debugging so make sure that that is done so that way uh, we can get this phone rooted alright guys the next step is if you don't have the uh, the drivers installed already on your computer if you get this application guys right here called snappy uh, as you can see right here you have to get this application you can find it by googling it you install it and that snappy will help you get the um, the drivers for this device okay next thing you're gonna do guys is pretty much you're gonna go ahead and connect the phone to the computer likewise alright once you connect the phone to the computer guys it's gonna read it automatically uh, this tool I'm gonna be providing the link below so make sure you download it you got extract it and then install um, the application once you do so guys are you you're gonna double click on it and then here it's going to take a few minutes until it actually reads your phone alright so it already did as you can see here alright guys now once it has completed reading the phone it's going to uh, prompt you to this message with a check mark so now you're ready to root so what you're going to do is you're going to click on this uh, green button right here and now your phone is going to root guys that's, that's how simple it is it's very easy Alright guys, so the phone has rooted, now most likely it's going to go ahead and reboot. Alright, the phone is booting up now guys. Okay guys, so now once the phone boots up, that means you're done. Uh, you have completed the root process. Now guys, you can go ahead and close the root tool. Next thing you got to do guys is from the link below, I'm going to provide you a link to download the vending.apk that you're going to need in order to install the Play Market. All you have to do is you connect the device to the computer, you go where it says USB connected, and then here you're going to turn it on, you hit OK. Alright, next thing is uh, once your computer reads your device, uh, you're going to send this to the uh, memory of the phone. So in this case, um, mine is removable disk H, so I'm just going to right click, hit send to, and I'm going to select H. Alright guys, now once it's transferred to your SD card, you're going to select turn off USB storage. Now, next thing you got to get, guys, is this application called Root Explorer. Without it, you're not going to be able to install the vending.apk, guys. So, what you do here is you open the application. You scroll down to where it says SD card. All right, and then from here, you're going to search the application, which, as you can see, is right here. It says uh, com.androidvending2.apk. So you're going to uh, go ahead and highlight it, hold it for two seconds, then you're going to select copy. Now this is the back button guys, so what you're going to do is you're going to tap once. Alright, that's going to take you back, and then you're going to go to system, app. Then here, I don't know if you can see this, but it's an RW, you got to put it on RO by uh, tapping on it. There you go, now it's on RO. Next thing you're going to do guys, you're going to select paste. All right, and it's asking me um, that if I want to rewrite it, I'm going to select yes in this case. All right, so next thing is you're going to scroll down. You're going to find the application. We know that it starts with a C. So here we see it right above the YouTube uh, application. So now you're going to, once again, press down and hold for about two seconds. Here, you're going to select this time permissions. On permission, guys, you're going to select exactly what I'm selecting nothing else so yours have to look like this once you have it looking like that then you gotta just um, hit OK next thing you gotta do guys is just reboot the the phone if you don't see it on the phone guys all you have to do is you go ahead and uh, complete a reset on the phone I know that this uh, some for some people is gonna be a pain but that's the only way that you can get it if it doesn't do it automatically 
you go ahead and reset the phone and it's going to install the, uh, the vending application which is the Android uh, Google Play Store. Okay guys, so now once the phone reboots, all you have to do now is uh, check and see if your vending APK is installed. And as you can see right here guys, I have the Play Store. I'm going to open it just to show you that it actually works. Okay guys, so as you can see here, it's working perfectly well. So that's it guys. So if you have any questions, please comment below. Subscribe for more guys. Um, thanks for watching and have a good one.